More than 10,000 tech leaders from 40 countries have gathered in San Francisco to discuss the mobile future. The Global Mobile Internet Conference has also brought in innovative entrepreneurs looking to capitalize on both the American and the Chinese startup ecosystem. Our Mark New has the details. Building a successful tech company is increasingly becoming an international competition for the best and brightest. Moboy has been dubbed the Chinese Siri for its years of work in Chinese voice recognition. Today, it's officially launching Tickware, the first Chinese smartwatch operating system. Moboy was actually started by former engineers and scientists at Google, which has influenced the look and feel of its Beijing office. From day one, it's also been funded by Sequoia Capital, the Silicon Valley venture capital firm that's backed everything from Google to PayPal. Well, this is Silicon Valley. We want to kick off the, this product here uh, to attract more the smartphone developers. We want to bring good smartphone app back to China and also get to know the market here in the valley. It's going to help us to understand better what the trend is going to be in China. The Global Mobile Internet Conference first began in Beijing in 2009. It's now spread across the globe to become Silicon Valley's largest mobile conference. The goal is simple cross-border cooperation. One startup creating a youthful buzz is Snaplingo. The app creates a platform for kids in China and the U.S. to learn language and communicate with each other through text and voice. We give kids a daily mission. If you complete the mission, you get virtual rewards. And uh, by completing the daily mission, uh, we get kids to do it, uh, to practice uh, Chinese or practice foreign language five minutes a day. And the kids are intrinsically motivated to talk to someone in China and vice versa. The app even caught the attention of the vice chairman of the education entertainment company, Leapfrog. We have a lot of Chinese people speaking English, but hardly any Americans speaking Chinese. And so we really, we really need to promote that for better world understanding. Kalinsky says the education tech space is increasingly drawing the interest of venture capitalists due to its potential to not only make money, but also transform the world. Mark New, CCTV, San Francisco.